Hello, my name is Darian White. And I'm Taylor Blackburn here at the IU Sportcom's Weekly Update. And Taylor, a lot has been happening this past week with Hoosier Athletics. How about you get our fans started with some Hoosier football? Okay, well, Indiana head football coach Kevin Wilson recently announced that James Patton will join the Hoosier coaching staff as special teams coordinator, assistant defensive line coach, and recruiting coordinator. And speaking of recruiting, Indiana just recently signed its strongest football recruiting class that it has seen in a, such a long time. And Coach Wilson really emphasized that since five offensive linemen are returning, he really needed a strong defensive class. So he signed 13 defensive linemen. All these guys that might play early, we're trying to convince them, if you're going to play next year, what you're doing right now is giving that a chance. How well, are you, how well and hard are you working in class, taking care of business? Are you going to the weight room, taking care of your body? Are you sleeping good, eating good? So when they show up for gym with Coach Hill, they've climbed the mountain some and Mark can keep pushing it, or do they stay where they're at? So there's a bunch of them that can't get in the mix. And even though we got returners, entitlement here when I first got here was at a, an unbelievable high to me. There's nothing entitled. You earn your spot. 2012 bronze medalist Derek Druton currently holds the lead in the country after jumping 7.25 feet in high jump this past weekend at the Hoosier Hills Invitational. Not only did he set the record for the Gladstein Fieldhouse, but most importantly, he jumped from 6th to 4th place in the world. Not only did Derek Druton break records this weekend, but Josh McTaggart of the IU men's tennis team earned his spot on the IU record list for over 100 wins at IU men's singles. Here's what his coach had to say about his accomplishments. It's grown from you know, being somebody that had a hard time following or leading to kind of in a leadership role with this team. Um, comes out and, and, and really gets some of the guys that aren't sure what they're supposed to be doing, gets them in line and, and uh, you know, he stepped up, stepped up as uh, somebody that I think the guys look up to. Taylor, it's one thing to be excelling on the court, but to be excelling off the court is a whole entirely different game. And for the IU women's tennis team with their 3.69 GPA, they have earned the title of the Herbert Cup. Yes, and it's so exciting because it's actually their fourth consecutive semester that they've won this award. Here's senior Leslie Hero. Academically, I guess we we have like now it's like kind of the expectations that when you come in the team you expect it to have good grades and work hard so I mean we study a lot together and um, when we're on the road we always study downstairs in the lobby or something like that and I mean then on the court I mean it's it's tennis it's fun it used to be for us it used to be like an individual sport because when you play high school it's just individual and everything but now now it's really a team thing and yeah, we try to cheer everyone up and yeah. March Madness came early this past week for our Indiana men's basketball team and a few other teams around this country. Yes, actually three out of the top five teams losing. Indiana to Illinois, Michigan to Wisconsin, and Kansas to Oklahoma. But our Indiana men's basketball team still remain dominant as number one. And right behind them is Duke, number three is Miami, number four is Michigan, and number five is Gonzaga. Well, that does it for this week's update. We hope to see you back next week. I'm Taylor Blackburn. And I am Darian White. IE Sportcom. Sportcom.